the greater light and the lesser light. But those lights are in us. Hey, friends. We can talk about heavens and hells all day long. I'm going to show you. I'm going to fit in we, this we final, what we or do the final fit that. in. Of heaven and hell are psychological states. The rocker panel on this Chevrolet truck. Hell is a state. The 66 Chevy truck. In which we are suffering the I've made a few videos so far about hell. this. We are afflicted. Um, only to we are share with you what I'm doing on this truck. Because I watch, very I watch a lot of videos. Hang on. Without the power of God, without the power of Mercury. We can move from one city to another, change jobs, change wife, change husband. I make quite a few videos, and I watch a lot of videos to perfect my game, to have fundamental real change. Observe others. On YouTube, doing the same kind of work or very similar work, and make some comparative analysis on what they do or not do, and how they do it, and how they don't do it. And I make a lot of judgment calls. I make I make calls. I make judgments based on how dirty is their underlying material. I mean, I've watched videos of people. Replacing these rocker panels, but this underlying metal here is the inner rocker, I should say, is all rotted, rusty, and they're on the ground. The vehicles on jack stands doing that kind of work. I do it better um, because I'm having a cleaner work and environment, and it helps that I'm a media blaster, so I do all the blasting. The, the blasting drives this work, it really does. Everything we so see when I get a car in to blast, and if they hire me to restore it or do some work on it, um, after the dance of money, you know, because they're always dancing on money, then when I get it ripped apart like this, I always blast it a second or even third time on the underneath to uh, repair and fix and, and restore those areas. So, on this rocker panel, as you may or may not remember, all this area here I had to heavily modify. Modify it a lot. So, now, I'm going to sit down, and I'm going to put it on, and it's on in place right now. That's where it needs to go, folks. Another. Just put a clamp on it. All of us are victims of this. We don't see the light. Start screwing it down. see the light filtered through the light. That's why it says, that scripture says, and I'll start here. Now you got to remember, the way to resolve this on the inside of the rocker, in order to I painted it. These rounds. I also put on the weld through primer. We need the mercury. Um, <clears throat> which will help me weld through it and, and, really and it will inhibit any further rust forming in those welded areas because the welded areas are going to be raw metal on the inside. There's nothing I can do about it unless we insert a probe here and coat the entire inside with undercoating, which I'm going to recommend to the owner that he does do that. And maybe even you, if you have these other vehicles, that you do the same thing. Um, if you go on my video on this channel that you're watching right now and you look for the 1968 Camaro operations, the, two um, to uh, the, the owner came here and he sprayed the undercoating on that vehicle right outside there on a Saturday morning. So know. it saved him a couple bucks and it gave his car a much higher standard and threshold of quality and protection because of that. So um, that's always the thing to do. That I found. So observed in this way, Shamayi shows us what we need to do. 
And I'm using sheet metal screws. You need to bring the fires of the shin to put this on out of the water. Hidden there already. How do we do that screw? From what I'm, what I've experienced, and what I was taught in metalworking schools, that the, the clearances have to be very tight, meaning you, know, you don't want to have a lot of gaps. If you can bring everything together as close as possible and then weld it, that's always better. The most intense fire that you can for that shin. But it's also hidden in your <laughs> The creative potential. <laughs> Those fluids, the liquid that the brain is suspended in. The fire is moving up and down the spinal column as electricity. As the energy that <laughs> show you now that I have that secured
We're good to go. The oven. We also see it as the well. Hmm. That wasn't a very good rendering. All that video gone. Oh well. Anyways, I'm not sure if this is going to work. Purified substance. In the middle image, that purified substance is represented in this hermetically sealed vessel, within which is mercury. In this case, it's producing. I'm going to put a couple more in here. One more, I forgot. We'll about that but all this is illuminated by the marot, the lights of Shamayim. Okay. The shin. It's very, very difficult to do this work. With and full with a camera. This is why those YouTube channels that are very, very well produced. Here is again represented in um, This is the second key of Basil. Their emphasis, I feel, and and see and observe is that uh, they make better videos than they do the work. That's my observations after looking and observing for many, many years. So I'm going to try to render the best videos I can um, as a secondary product. Never as a primary product. Never ever. As I said earlier, this, the owner's going to have to put a little filler here to get that to adjust. What it's in there, it's ready to weld. And that's it. Goodbye. Cheers. Merry Christmas, everybody. Be good. Talk to you later. See ya. And Venus.